inside LeBron James's $52 million L.A. mansion. Having won countless medals throughout his career, King James is widely regarded as one of the best players in NBA history, and this success is treating James well when it's considered that LeBron James is among the most highly paid athletes in the world. James's total earnings from basketball are projected to be $500 million, and with an annual salary of around $40 million, this sports star has all it takes to live life on the first lane. He owns some of the most luxurious things money can buy, his new mansion in LA being one of the latest purchases. In today's video, we'll take a trip and unravel what this $52 million mansion has to offer. Let us dive straight in. It almost appears like NBA players are coerced into living a luxurious life. Los Angeles is a bubbling city. Celebrities pop up on the streets like traffic lights. King James is one of them, and here celebrities live like kings. That prompted him to part with the colossal $52 million to get a home that suits his title, La Bellionaire. The palatial residence is located in the leafy suburbs of Hollywood Hills. This is an area from which the best view of Los Angeles City is served. While everyone else is not done drying their tears because of the economic recession caused by the coronavirus pandemic, James just proved a point by making this timely acquisition. The imposing property offers features laced with modern architecture and state-of-the-art amenities. The three-time NBA champion is a certified baller, and no one should pretend they are surprised with this audacious move. Apparently, King James was just chilling, scrolling through his Instagram account when he spotted the mansion on the property page, Mega Mansion. The king liked what he saw and made a money move just like that. Now that you're pumped up, I think you might be wondering what this mansion has to offer its residents. Then wait no longer because that's exactly what we're going to cover in the next part of this video. Now, the mansion is an ultra private architectural marvel, hidden behind high hedges and security checkpoints, providing magnificent elegance in 16,000 square feet of perfect indoor and outdoor living area. Glancing at the house from the outside, outside will definitely take your breath away, and everyone will be ecstatic to discover the grandeur that awaits within the estate. At the same time, entering through a curving vehicle court to a substantial two-story entry with cascading water elements, then crossing the floating bridge to spectacular living and dining rooms with large marble fireplaces, having this is sheer joy. On top, the floor-to-ceiling Glass walls offer breathtaking views of DTLA, Century City, and Catalina Island. When we take a step back into a fully prepared entertainer's haven, a unique boomerang-shaped infinity pool and spa with a luxury fire pit lounge submerged in the center will catch our glimpse. This truly astounds the viewer and is one of the mansion's primary attractions, being the irreplaceable part of the home, during the summer especially. When we finally arrive at the master suite, main thing we notice is that that has a rooftop balcony and garden with views of the city. What a fantastic way to start the day, ain't it? We all know that athletes are keen to maintain their physical appearance and stamina, and you may know that it's proven to be the most effective when working out before breakfast. So after James leaves the master bedroom, he heads on to the home gym to serve this purpose. What can I say? Our guy is a fitness maniac, and a nice setup gym is one of the facilities he can't take chances on not having. He tries so hard. James's success in the court is not only down to his protruding and domineering height, fitness is also essential to keep up with the standards of superstardom. Moving on with the facilities, the mansion also features a golf simulator, pool tables, and a media area within the house. Other extraordinary facilities include a cigar room, wine cellar, and a large spa area with float tank, hydro pool, and sauna, allowing the athlete to unwind anytime he wishes. The bonfire particularly Particularly is quite something. A well-handmade circular-shaped gray sofa appears to enclose the pit. It can accommodate up to 10 people. The poolside inclined seats can be seen arranged neatly with white round tables also in the vicinity for when the athlete decides to invite friends over and party all night. You know, just some regular millionaire things. The mansion was designed by the respected architect Paul McLean. His touch starts shouting straight from the security 
gates that eventually ushers you into the unbearably beautiful home. From the inside, the Irish architect must have spent years trying to figure it out. After what he did there is only one word left to describe it, exquisite. An in-house movie theater with a seating capacity of 100 people, a fully furnished lounge, a wet bar is all included to take care of entertainment needs. Paul McLean, the man behind King James's new mansion's design, has an excellent touch for celebrities. In fact, he's also the man who designed power couple Jay-Z in Beyoncé's home and that of fashion designer Calvin Klein. With a stylish and contemporary new design, the mansion is fitted with six bedrooms and ten bathrooms. Each bedroom has almost similar features to the master bedroom, except where the athlete will sleep is twice as big. The walls are dominantly made from natural exotic woods and mahogany is vastly used. A minimalist aesthetic touch is employed around the windows, with clear glass also eating up better parts of the mansion, thus enhancing the lighting scene. When LeBron James left the Cleveland Cavaliers in the summer of 2018 to sign a record deal worth $153 million over the course of four years, he walked up to the upscale neighborhood of Brentwood and purchased his first L.A. home, a $23 million mansion. The eight-bedroom, 11-bathroom property is still registered under his name. Maybe he just felt like changing the environment. You know, money tends to create funny cravings that can prove really pricey. Back to the $52 million palace. The living room is stocked with beautiful white leather couches, a huge flat-screen TV suspended from the roof, and an ultra-modern stereo system. It is the perfect idea for a luxury living room. The interior decorations are further enhanced by outrageously massive chandeliers dripping from the ceiling, leaving one to wonder whether it is the Buckingham Palace or LeBron's home. The layout is plainly said perfect. High-end decor ideas and huge expanses of glasses enabling gorgeous lighting to strike the room, the curtains are sumptuous, providing an exclusive glare of Los Angeles City with a mere remote command. On the side of the living room, you will spot a striking fireplace in a small home library. The kitchen area is eye-catching as well. Everything is over the top, and James is known to be a vegan as he has a nutritionist 24 hours a day, 360 in a year. They better make good use of these facilities or else they may as well kiss their fat paychecks goodbye. Such monumental homes remain a pipe dream for millions of people in LA, as the price is entirely out of reach for the majority of them. LeBron James is not strange to acquiring costly things. He's synonymous with spending severely when it comes to buying cars. His fleet of cars include some of the best, with Porsche Turbo, Hummer H2, and Dodge Challenger among the priced assets. He's also notorious for purchasing unfathomably expensive wristwatches. He owns several Rolex timepieces, with some costing as much as $100. Clearly, this guy doesn't mind signing the checks to get the deal done. This LA residence is actually his fourth home on record, with a $2.1 million home in Ohio that he bought in 2003 to his $9 million Cocoa Grove mansion in Miami. So what do you think the homeless would say about this? For James, his motto is simple, never spend your money before you've earned it. Again, an equipped rooftop deck is part of the $52 million architectural brilliance. There is also a flower garden on the deck from which a bird's view of the whole city skyline is available. Did we mention that there's a billiard room from within the house? Oh yes, there is. Too much work without play would definitely make James a dull man. There's also a media room from which the athlete can always sit and prepare his speeches. The 36-year father of three is expected to renew his contract soon, and it might as well come with added zeros at the end, so maintaining this home is really nothing for James compared to acquiring it. Even though the news has been floating around that the basketball legend hasn't purchased the home, close sources believe the deal is done, and that he's being held back from moving in by ongoing demonstrations. What is more evident than the status of the purchase is the fact that a basketball court has not been spotted in the home. It would not be strange for King James to decide and to rehabilitate 
renovate the home in an effort to construct a court. After all, the game is where his heart is. He'd probably want to play with his son, too. That one, though, is just from a speculation point of view. So, in a nutshell, from this lush Mega Million Mansion, the legendary basketball superstar will have all the access to luxury and extreme security money can buy, standing by the windows at night and watching the entire city light up. He may be saluting from Ohio, but Los Angeles is the home now, and he tends to live large while serving the city through the Los Angeles Lakers team. They say Los Angeles is like a beauty parlor. As actor Denzel Washington suggests, in Los Angeles, everyone is a star. Somehow, he is right. I have to admit, for LeBron James, he is living the best life, breaking records, winning trophies, giving back to the community, and more importantly, making loads of cash. He once said, I'm going to use all my tools, my God-given ability, and make the best life I can with it. And from the moves he is making, it seems like he meant every single letter in that quote. So there you have it, inside LeBron James's new $52 million Los Angeles mansion. Do you think this mansion is worth the price? Also, which feature of this mansion did you find the most luxurious? Let us know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the Lavish Woo channel for more top-notch luxury content. I'll see you in the next video.